Hello everyone, my name is Gigi, and today we're going to talk about sources of sound. Start. The source of any sound is a vibrating object. Almost any object can vibrate, hence be a source of sound. We now discuss some simple sources of sound, particularly musical instruments. In musical instruments, the source is set into vibration by striking, plucking, bowing, or blowing. Standing waves are produced, and the source vibrates as its natural resonant frequencies. The vibrating source is in contact with air or other medium and pushes on it to produce sound waves that travel outward. The frequencies of waves are the same as those of the source, but the speed and wavelengths can be different. A drum has a stretch membrane that vibrates. Xylophones and marimbas have metal or wood bars that can be set into vibration. Bells, cymbals, and gongs also make use of vibrating metal. Many instruments make sure of vibrating strings, such as the violin, guitar, and piano, or make use of vibrating columns of air, such as flute, trumpet, and pipe organ. We have already seen that the pitch of a pure sound is determined by the frequency. Frequency is the rate at which vibration occurs that constitutes a wave, either in a material. Typical frequencies for musical notes are on the equally tempered chromatic scale. Remember, frequency is in hertz. Note that one octave corresponds to a doubling frequency. For example, this C has a frequency of 262 hertz, whereas this C has twice that frequency of 524 hertz. Stringed instruments. Standing waves are the basis for all stringed instruments. The pitch is normally determined by the lowest resonant frequency, the fundamental, which corresponds to nodes occurring only at the ends. The string vibrating up and down as a whole corresponds to a half wavelength. So the wavelength of the fundamental on the string is equal to twice the length L of the string. When a finger is placed on the string of this ukulele, the effective length of the vibrating string is shortened. So its fundamental frequency and pitch is higher since the wavelength of the fundamental is shorter. Let's see. If I release this finger, the sound will become a little bit lower. But if I placed a finger here, the sound will become higher. The strings on the ukulele are all the same length. They sound at a different pitch because the strings have a different mass per unit length, which affects the velocity on the string. Thus, the velocity on a heavier string is lower, and the frequency will be lower for the same wavelength. Stringed instruments would not be very loud if they relied on their vibrating strings to produce the sound waves, since the strings are too thin to compress and expand much air. Wind instruments. Instruments such as woodwinds, the brasses, and the pipe organ produce sound from the vibrations of standing waves in a column of air within a tube. Standing waves can occur in the air of any cavity, including the human throat, but the frequencies present is complicated for any but very simple shapes such as the uniform narrow tube of a flute or an organ pipe. In some instruments, a vibrating reed or a vibrating lip of the player helps to set up vibrations of the air column. In others, a stream of air is directed against one edge of the opening or mouthpiece, leading to turbulence which sets up the vibrations. Because of the disturbance, whatsoever its source, the air within the tube vibrates with a variety of frequencies, but only frequencies that correspond to standing waves will persist. So the diameter and the length of the tube affects the sound. Also, these are called nodes, 
which have different sizes to correlate with the sound. So, if I close this, all the nodes, it makes a sound. And if I even open the nodes, it also makes a sound. And I could make a scale.